um yeah it's another day here in uh, new york but nakakainis kasi ang gloomy today so ibig sabihin mas malamig and yung pupuntahan namin today kasi sana we need like bright skies and all but you know hopefully we can see it with this kind of weather um i hope it doesn't get too cold but yeah come with us we're going to the city <sighs> guys grabe di ako nakapag vlog sa buong commute kasi tumatakbo kami kasi late kami so ang ending hingal ako girl and now we're waiting for the ferry kasi we are gonna go to a very um, monumental place here in New York I mean di ka nakapag New York kung hindi ka dito and I'll um, bring you guys with me Ayan yung sasakyan natin. Alam nyo na ba saan tayo pupunta? Ayan na. Pasok na tayo. Ayan. Okay na tayo. Tara ka tayo. Patas. Pupunta tayong ano? Dumagete. Sumasakay tayo ng Roro kaya. <laughs> Obviously, we guys are here at the Liberty Island. Tiko ba magamangit mangit? Liberty Island. And kung saan si Maring Liberty. Ito na 
tayo. Ang gulo-gulo na ng buhok ko. Dito na tayo sa Ellis Island. Um, let's see what's in here. Ganito siya oh. So, kakapasok lang natin sa loob. And ganito yung itsura niya. So, for those of you guys doesn't know, quick lang, ang Ellis Island ay isa siyang parang immigration place. It processes over 12 million people, immigrant. Dito nila pinrocess. But yeah, it closed for some time. And then, ayun lang yung pinaka-idea niya. So, immigration station siya sa lahat ng mga immigrant na pupunta dito sa US. And they were processed here. So, those were 12 million people. And we're just uh, checking kung saan tayo unang pupunta. Let's plan our day here at Ellis Island. So this is basically a museum, ibat ibang state, ibat ibang lugar, in mga histories, kung anong year ang may pinakamaraming immigrants from where. Um, we have New Orleans right here. So this is the second floor, and it says to be the registry room. This was their food service before. Dami nila. Oh, may mga na detain. Di ko mabase. Ito yung detention before. Hmm, parang nakukulong sila. By the way, guys, tanga tanga namin. Dapat pala, kumuha ng ganito. So, para siyang phone something. Kasi sa bawat displays, may nakalagay doon ng mga voice recordings or minsan din describe nila yung naka-display. So, to play mo lang. Tapos may ruin mo. Hello? Jollibee? Order? <laughs> so, for example, gusto mong malaman yung hospital situation nila. Nung nandito sila, you just have to press the number which is 706. Uh oh. 706. But pa tiri, higher press. 706. Then you press this one. We were here about one day in the new quarters. Ayan, so, bin parang mga testimony to na mga talagang na-detain dito before. Wheelchair before. So, meron silang mental testimony dito. So, nag-migrate nag sila dito after inspection. Sabi daw, there's 9 out of 100 immigrants na minamark nila ng X because they're not mentally stable. So, part ng mental testing is pinapadro nila ng diamond din ba mo isa. And yeah, it's one of the exercises kung saan nila nalaman na, you know, someone is not mentally stable or capable. So, dinadid nila. So, that's a photo, an actual photo of those people na na mark as X because they're mentally not stable. So guys, simple technical way na maging process is dati, pag dumating ka sa New York, dadaling ka dito sa Ellis Island, tapos yung pinakita ko kanina yung medical inspection if you're mentally stable, and then legal inspection, kung legal ka ba talaga na nandito ka. But then, syempre, um, according sa mga testimonies ng mga narinig ko dito na mga talagang nandito before. It wasn't as easy kasi before it will take days, weeks, even months para ma-process ka. Kasi imagine like millions and millions of people are processed here. Like millions of immigrants. So it was a little bit hard. Um, yung hospitalization, pag nagkasakit ka, pag napuntis ka and all. By the way, there's like 355 babies ang pinanganak dito sa Ellis Island. 
Kuya Roland, mag ka naman. nag-work sa ferry kung saan kami gumala. Ayan. Bisaya po si Kuya na. Bisayang dako. <laughs> Ayan. Kakababala natin ng ferry. Tapos may nakita kami ano doon. Sa gilid. May binibenta siyang mangga, grapes, pakwan, kaka... kakumber. Kakumber. <laughs> so isang supot, five dollars. So, 250 pesos ito. Mangga na may ano. Anong tawag dito? Taki ba yun? Yung seasoning na may chili something something. Matamis pero nakakakilig. Ayoko na. So guys, we just finished um, statue and then now dito tayo sa isa sa favorite part ko nung nag-stage ako before. Um, the One World Trade Center, yung 9-11 Towers before. So, it's here. This is the ground zero. Tapos ito yung bagong One World Trade Center. So, let's go near. Lagi akong nag-goosebumps pag nandito ako because, you know, remembering what happened and you know paying tribute to the people who lost their lives um feels different if you're here so i'm gonna try to um show you what i can because they're close sila in a while but yeah so guys this is the ground zero so yung laki so before nakataya yung tower dito kung saan yung nakikita nyo and this is the other tower. I mean, may isang tower yun kasi trin yun, di ba? And then, itong buong paikot na to, these are the list of names na you know, unfortunately lost their lives um, here. So, eto, as in lahat ng nandang yan, punong-puno ng pangalan yan. And, yeah, there's a museum inside but it closes super early so unfortunately i can't bring you guys but for now yeah this is the round zero